Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bombalon. Today is Tuesday, November 9th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Wolfpack Performing Arts is now presenting All Together Now. The show dates are November 12th and 13th. Show times are 7 p.m. on Friday and 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. this Saturday. Check out the screen for information on how to purchase tickets. Now here's a sneak peek into the show. And playing soccer, women's soccer tryouts are this week today from 6.30 to 8.30, tomorrow from 4.30 to 6, and Thursday from 7 to 8.30. Remember, public buses are now free for any student showing their school ID. This is a great way to get to school, especially for their colder weather. This Friday is the last day to confirm that you have registered for your AP exam. Please refer to the list Ms. Warren sent out to check if you have registered. Join this Zoom link for the Advanced Ed Workshop today from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Office hours will be hosted to answer questions tomorrow from 3.30 to 4.30. Now let's pass it on over to Dylan and Josiah for sports. What's crack a lacking, Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Welcome back to your sports update. Great job to our, our women's tennis team on their win in the semifinals over Vista Del Lago. Now they take on Wood Creek in the finals. Good luck, girls. Our cross-country team competed in their subsection race. Let's see how it went. Congrats to Matthew McDonald on qualifying for the section race this weekend. In women's volleyball news, our team had an unfortunate loss to Oak Ridge in the finals. But our team has another chance to play well in the state playoff. Today they take on Foothill High School at home at 6. Good luck, team. In football news, the Jaguars upset the Bills in a low-scoring game of 9-6. to six. It was such a weird game. Josh Allen sacked and intercepted Josh Allen? Exactly. The game made history when a linebacker for the Jaguars named Josh Allen intercepted the quarterback for the Bills, also named Josh Allen. Not to mention the linebacker had one sack and one fumble recovery. This is the first time that a player has been intercepted by the player with the same name. It's safe to say that in the battle of the Josh Allens, Josh Allen won. The Bears-Steelers game was interesting, with the Steelers winning 29-27. Yeah, I wonder how much the Steelers paid the refs. It was crazy. Literally every single call went into the Steelers' favor. Yeah, even though the refs sold the game for the Bears, Justin Fields had a great game and shows promise for the future. Then the, and, the, and the Niners somehow lost against the Cardinals. Even though that J.J. Watt was out, Dontre Hopkins was out, also Kyle Murray was out. Yeah, Colt McCoy somehow had a fantastic game, as well as running back James Conner. I guess what, Dylan? The Eagles lost again. Okay, Wolfpack, that's your sports update. <laughs> back to the Anchors. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bonblon. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Fried Chicken Sandwich Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.